on with Prima Radio. It's 8.15. We're going to go now down to the Throb Centre, the history. Thing. We're going down the libraries of life and talking about history of Ipswich and uh, wish the Ipswich City Council would get onto this because they should put a book out with Carol the H. Peacock's history book. He's told us that many stories over three to four years and he still brings them up. Did you know, Damien, yes. that Ipswich had its own movie star because the Golden Globe Awards are on last week. Yes. So we thought he'd tie it in with the Golden Globes. He does that all the oh, time. And so, uh, you know, let's talk to Harold the H. Oh, God, God. Peacock about Ipswich's very own Hollywood movie star. G'day, Harold. Yes, good morning, Danny, and congratulations to Kate Blanchett, of course, for the mm. Golden Globes this week. But Ipswich has its own claim to fame, too. Well, she was an old Brussels girl. Okay, so tell us all about the Hollywood star. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was uh, Ipswich's own Hollywood movie star from the golden age of the 1930s and 40s. Wow. Her name was Mrs. Olive Taylor, or Miss Olive Pender Smith as she was known when she lived in Ipswich. She was born in Essex, England in 1906, but came to Ipswich as a young girl. Mm. She attended the Ipswich Girls Grammar School Mm. and was considered one of the beauties of the town. Wow. Now, Pender, that's what she was called, her friends affectionately called her Pender. Uh She was the daughter of Dr. George Pender Smith, who was the superintendent at the Sandy Gallup Metal Asylum in 1917 to 1920. Mm. Now, Olive learnt to ride as a young girl Mm. on holidays out at Chinchilla. Mm. Now, whereas most girls back then Mm. sought fame in Hollywood through their beauty, Olive entered the world of film by her skill as a horsewoman. Wow. She doubled for heaps of famous film actresses in both London and Hollywood. Mm. There was Chili Boucher, the famous English film actress who achieved success during the silent film era. So you'd remember all these then. Oh, of course. Olive was, yeah, Olive was also a stand-in for the American actress Mary Ellis, including oh. in the 1937 film Glamorous Night, in which oh. she rode an Arab horse up a stairway. Olive also doubled for Anne Todd, who was an English actress who shot the fame in the 1940s, mm-hmm. and Olive doubled for her in the hunting scene in the 1938 film South Riding. Mm-hmm. Now, Olive was a brunette just like the American actress B.B. Daniels, oh. and the two looked so much alike that many people couldn't tell which was which. Mm-hmm. Now, B.B. began her career in Hollywood during the silent film era, and appeared in 230 films. Wow. Olive doubled for Beebe in a number of them, including the writing scene in the 1935 film, The Return of Carol Dean. But Danny, yeah. there's Olive's family who are even more remarkable. That's who I want to tell you about now. <laughs> I've already told you that her father was the superintendent of the asylum. Uh-huh. Well, her grandfather, John Smith, was the mayor of Melbourne seven times. Wow! One one uncle, Thomas Webb, was a King's Council in Victoria, and for 21 years mm-hmm. he held the very interesting government title of Master in Equity and Lunacy. Wow. Another uncle was Charles Nicholson, who was the police officer who put in place the network of spies that was actually responsible for the capture of the Kelly gang. Wow, again! And, yeah, and finally, there was Olive's mother, Phyllis Pendersmith, mm. who achieved a most remarkable death. Mm. You see, in 1928, while talking to the milkman about the morning's supply from the balcony of a home, <laughs> the mother overbalanced and fell 25 feet to the street below. <laughs> she was killed, killed instantly. Mm-hmm. But a, partic- a peculiar feature of the tragedy was that the milk jug that Mrs. Pender was holding at the time of the fall, mm-hmm. the jug somehow became balanced on a ledge 12 feet from the bottom. It mm-hmm. stayed there while the, mother, while the mother fell past, right side up, unbroken and still full of milk. <laughs> so congratulations to Kate Blanchett this week. But don't forget Ipswich's Olive Pender Smith, who was a star double back in Hollywood's golden age. Wow. Olive Pendersmith, who became Olive Taylor, went to Ipswich Girls Grammar. Her dad was a doctor at the asylum. It, you are just a... Come on, Ipswich City Council. Theresa, you need to get this book out. 
it'll be a diamond. It'll kill them. Anyhow, so uh, have you been around anywhere with your metal detector lately? Uh, look, I've been planning some uh, expeditions, which I can't tell you about yet. They're, they're yet to be confirmed, but there are going to be some pretty exciting stories come out of them because they go right back to the beginning of the settlement of Australia. Well, a couple of European Tuesdays... So I'm looking forward to that. A couple of Tuesdays ago, it was very hot, and Rachel, a good friend of mine, good sort, uh, we went swimming in the Brisbane River there at Fernvale, and there was a bloke in the water with a metal detector, and he found two rings and a watch. Yeah, because you know what happens when you go swimming? You lose your ring. And so you lose the rings. Well, he found them and he showed me, so he's telling the truth. So there you go. Well, listen, mate, we want our ark, ark, arkers. Come on, girls. We need the burlesque ark, ark, arkers to get on historyoutthere.com and we'll find if it's up to the standard that we're looking for with the ark, 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 we will give a prize. We'll find something in the prize cupboard that's amazing. Damien's looking at me. We oh, didn't a, I didn't even know we yeah. had a prize cupboard. We don't. But uh, so how well, do that we? That could f- be the prize is a cupboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny man from Bunnings. <laughs> Mate, tell me. Tell us how we yeah. can find all your stories and. Yeah, the story goes up every Sunday morning yeah. on History Out There. Dot com, And this week, not only the, you know, the story, but the photos of who's in it and uh, in uh, with Olive Fender-Smith. But I've also got some film clips from her old films showing her on the horse stunts. Wow. So there's a lot of good stuff. Historyoutthere.com. Historyoutthere.com. Olive Pender-Smith, Nee Taylor. And uh, she was uh, our only, probably our only Hollywood star. What are you looking at me for, Damien? I'm, I'm thinking you could do that, that role, be a Hollywood star. So come on, girls, the burlesque. Ark, ark, ark on historyoutthere.com. Another great story from the great storyteller, Harold the H. Peacock, at 8.22 on West Bremer Radio.